good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, okay uh, let's uh, start today's session uh, can you all hear me yes sir okay yes, sir. thank you okay uh, last session we have completed uh, company settings and uh, today uh, and also we have completed customer master and we will start uh, supplier master file creations uh, from here we will create uh, suppliers and supplier categories okay uh, you can create suppliers by uh, from supplier module click add a supplier Uh, from here under supplier name you can enter supplier name supplier category uh, supplier category ma mainly used for report purposes and uh, if you have opening balances for an example uh, if you are implementing for old company uh, you may have opening balances and uh, if if opening balance available, you can enter the opening balance and opening balance as a date. And enter that credit limit. The, if your supplier is a tax registered company, you can enter the tax reference number or VAT registration number. And uh, there's the option auto allocate payments folders invoice. If you enable this option, uh, when you are entering a payment, system will at allocate that uh, payment to oldest invoices. Now, for an example, if you have more than uh, one outstanding payment, system will automatically allocate to oldest invoices. If you have this option, then uh, you can choose a particular payment for which invoice you are going to allocate. The next uh, postal address. And you can enter supply physical address if the supplier has uh, two different locations such as it's uh, office in one location and uh, or warehouse in a different location you are uh, purchasing goods from warehouse you can enter that uh, warehouse address also and uh, you can copy this postal address by clicking this copy from uh, postal address and also you can add uh, that suppliers location in the map Then uh, you can enter uh, supply contact details, contact person name, email address, telephone uh, web address, uh, then supply business registration number, and uh, you can enter that supply invoice these de details automatically display in that transaction now for an example uh, if you enter default discount assume uh, you are entering 10 percent discount uh, then when you are entering that uh, supply document supply transaction such as uh, purchase order or supplier invoice 
this discount automatically display in that uh, supplier purchase order or uh, supplier invoice. I show you an example. Now here, uh, I'll now I'll uh, find a transaction, supply a transaction. I'll enter supply purchase order. From here, I'll select supplier. Then uh, you can see uh, that twenty five percent discount. Here, default discount rate apply for that transaction. Uh, uh, if you want, you can change this discount rate uh, when you are processing the transaction. And if you set a uh, default uh, discount rate uh, when you are entering a transaction, it will apply for that transaction. Next. Uh, default tax rate uh, if your supply is a uh, registered supplier you can select and, uh, there may be sometimes uh, no tax VAT or SVAT suppliers uh, so according to your supplier you can select the uh, tax rate and uh, if your supplier giving credit period for you uh, you can enter number of days uh, for an example if your supply gives uh, 30 days credit period you can enter that date and uh, when you select that supply uh, Now, uh, and credit period 30 days. Now, uh, if you set uh, when you are creating for discount rate and credit period. Now, here, invoice date is uh, February 22nd, due date is uh, 24th of March, that means 30 days system will calculate next uh, if you have uh, foreign suppliers you can enter that uh, supply currency from here you can select that uh, supplier currency then uh, when you are invoicing uh, that supply currency will uh, apply for that invoice Now I'll select this supplier. Now that supplier's uh, currency is AED. Uh, that uh, currency exchange rate also automatically uh, calculate from the system. Okay, uh, you can select uh, supplier currency from drop down menu. Okay, uh, now uh, if this uh, currency is not available, Company settings. Go to multi currency. 
from here you can add currency you can select the currency and you can add Uh, next, uh, additional contacts. Activities, uh, now when you are entering transaction, uh, it will display that uh, transactions. This activity tab uh, update uh, after you enter transaction to that supplier okay uh, you can view supply adjustment opening balance supply invoice returns those things you can view after enter transactions to this supplier okay uh, next additional contacts from here you can enter uh, additional contact persons details of that company now here you can enter only one but if you want to add more than one contact details you can use this additional contact and you can enter by uh, clicking this plus mark and you can enter contact name, designation, telephone numbers and contact details you can enter. Okay. Next, uh, banking details. You can enter supplier uh, banking details. Uh, it will easy uh, when you are paying uh, supplier payments, you can use this banking details. You can enter account holder name, account number, bank name, branch code, and account type. Next tab is uh, notes. From here, uh, you can enter notes, or if you want, you can add attachment to that uh, supplier. Or if you are arranging any meetings, you can enter that details here when uh, action date reaches. now for an example you are arranging a meeting on 1st of March On action date, uh, that uh, meeting not alert will uh, display in this to do list. Like this uh, supply notes, it will display here. Then uh, if you have any agreements with suppliers, you can add those attachment. Then uh, user defined fields uh, from here. Now we have entered a uh, few details here. And if you want to add more details, you can use user defined fields and you can customize these labels. You can customize this from a uh, company settings. I think you can remember, go to company change company settings, uh, user defined fields, supplier, from here, you can change this labels. Now here, uh, you uh, text user field one, I have changed that uh, to cash supplier. From here, you can see that uh, text field one change to cash supplier like that uh, if you want you can change other labels also okay next uh, personal information then purchase graph purchase orders unpaid invoices uh, will update after you enter transactions then uh, next one last one report 
report layouts from here. Now, for an example, if your company has uh, different form formats of uh, purchase orders, you can uh, select uh, those layouts from this drop down menu. Okay. First, you need to design layouts, then uh, you can select according to uh, this supplier. Okay. For an example, uh, you have uh, you are a VAT registered company and uh, you have different suppliers VAT registered suppliers and uh, non-tax uh, suppliers if you want to send a uh, tax purchase orders uh, you can use one layout and uh, for tax suppliers you can use that tax layout and if you have uh, non-tax suppliers you can design a different layout for non-tax suppliers and you can attach that uh, layout for non-tax supplier. Like that, uh, you can design for uh, supplier return and supplier statements also. And into this supplier, you can select that uh, report layout. After you enter these details, you can save the supplier. Okay, I'll quickly go through again. Uh, you can create suppliers from suppliers, add a supplier. And the supplier name, select supplier category if available, uh, enter opening balance. Uh, enter opening balance as a date. If your supplier giving credit limit, you can enter that credit limit. And uh, you can, if the if your supplier VAT registered or tax registered supplier, you can enter tax number. And uh, if you want to allocate auto allocate payments to all those invoices, you can tick this option. Uh, you can enter postal address and physical address of supplier. And uh, you can enter contact details, contact name, email, telephone, mobile, fax, uh, web number, and supplier business registration number. This RMCD approval number not applicable for Sri Lanka. And uh, you, you can enter that VAT registered date of that supplier. Under default settings, you can enter uh, supplier default discount and uh, default tax type if supplier giving credit period you can enter that credit period you can select supplier currency uh, in addition to that you can enter additional contact details bank details notes user defined fields reports layout you can select report layouts from uh, this drop down menu Uh, next, uh, you will go to supply categories. You can create supply categories from supply module. Go to list, supply categories. Click on add category. You can enter uh, supply category name and save. Okay. And also when you are creating a supply also, you can uh, create that supply category by clicking this add okay uh, like that uh, you can create suppliers and supply categories uh, if you have any questions you can ask Okay, uh, now you can create uh, two suppliers and two supplier categories. You can take around uh, seven minutes, uh, 60 categories.
Sir, we can't hear you. Sorry, uh, still not started. Uh, you can create that uh, supplier and supply categories. Okay, uh, oh, uh, you have created suppliers and supplier categories. Now, uh, after you create the supplier categories, you can view uh, list of suppliers, go to suppliers, list, list of suppliers. Uh, from uh, this uh, supply grid, you can view your suppliers. Uh, you can view supplier name, category, balance, credit limit, tax numbers, uh, and those details. If you want, you can customize this grid by clicking this setting button and click customize grid. Okay, uh, from here you can add columns or remove columns. Uh, if you want to add any column, you can in, uh, tick that column. And if you want to remove any uh, column, you can untick this uh, tick. After change that details, you can save. Then uh, you can uh, required columns, and also you can sort these columns by clicking this heading. You can sort ascending or descending order. And also you can uh, filter supply list uh, from these filters. And uh, later, if you want to check this uh, green color, sorry, blue color, uh, when, you, when you are clicking this, it will underline and uh, you can change those uh, supplier details and you can update that supplier. If you want to change that uh, contact name or email address, or if you are increased, uh, if the supplier increases uh, credit limit or credit period, you can change these details. And also from this action also, uh, you can edit supply details okay next uh, we will move to items uh, from here we will create items item bundles and item categories okay uh, first uh, we'll create item Go to items, click add an item. You can enter item code and enter item description. From this category drop down menu, uh, you can select item categories and there are two options item types. First one physical, second one service. 
if you take this option physical uh, system will create this item as a physical item and uh, it will maintain the stocks and if you if you want to create an item as a service item for an example uh, transport or for an example uh, audit services or accounting services you can select service okay uh, there are two types uh, physical item and service item uh, according to this item you can select whether it's physical or service and uh, if if you select service this opening cost and opening quantity will not apply sorry opening quantity and uh, opening quantity as a date will not apply uh, if you select service okay and if you are creating a physical item you can enter opening cost and opening quantity uh, when you are impl implementing the system as a date uh, what is the balance of that item and what is the cost of that item you can enter here and uh, you can enter the opening quantity as a date and uh, after that uh, you can enter selling price of that item exclusive selling price and inclusive selling price you can enter unit whether that item is a uh, kilogram liter or numbers like that you can enter that unit and uh, from here you can enter sales account now for an example uh, i'll show you uh, when you're generating your profit and loss account profit and loss report uh, you can Now here a few sales account now uh, if you want to show this item sales separately uh, you can create a separate sales account or uh, if this category now for an example uh, if you are running a hotel uh, you want to show uh, accommodation income separately food and beverage uh, f and b income separately uh, like like that uh, room income uh, you want to show separately in that case uh, you can select sales account from here then uh, when you are selling this item uh, that item sales income will uh, display separately in uh, profit and loss report okay uh, now uh, when you are selling an item if you want to show that uh, items income separately uh, in profit and loss report you can create a different sale account for this uh, this item then uh, when you are selling that item uh, that income will separately show in this uh, profit and loss report same as uh, you can select uh, cost of sales account inventory account and uh, if you are uh, doing adjustment to items you can create a uh, separate account for item adjustment account uh, if uh, these four accounts uh, inventory account and item adjustment account if uh, uh, if not shown in your system uh, you need to update your system go to company sorry administration go to my profile click on upgrade And uh, under choose your module options, in the one in this uh, advanced inventory, actually, uh, you can upgrade uh, your number of companies, number of users. 
document store, then time tracking, my current advanced and finish, uh, then uh, you can read your system. Now, uh, when you enter cost and selling price here, system will calculate GP percentage and GP amount. And uh, if tax available for this item, you can select uh, tax on sales and uh, you can select tax on purchases. And uh, this major industry code uh, not available in Sri Lanka. And if it is available, you can enter that code. Okay. Uh, from here, you can enter item code, item description, and uh, you can select item category. You can select uh, whether that item is a physical item or service item. If physical item, you can enter opening cost, opening quantity, and opening quantity as a date. And uh, you can enter uh, exclusive selling price, uh, enclosed selling price you can enter select sales account cost of sales account inventory account and item adjustment account after that uh, if tax available for that item you can select tax on sales tax rate and tax on purchases you can select uh, relevant tax rate for that item okay uh, next next tab is price list Now, uh, if you are selling uh, same product to uh, in different prices for different customers, uh, you can create price list. And when you are creating customer, you can attach that price list. Uh, then, uh, when you uh, when you are in, uh, entering invoice or quotation, that uh, that price relevant price list price will apply for that transaction. Now. Uh, when you are creating price list, first uh, go to company, change company settings. General settings, item settings. From here, you can create price list and uh, you can rename this price list and save. Then uh, those price list will apply. Uh, will you can view from where, uh, when you are creating an item. Okay. Now, uh, if you have uh, different price for different uh, customers, you can enter that prices uh, in price list. Okay. Now, for an example, uh, if your default price is hundred and uh, your trade price say ninety. Then retail price 110, distributor price 80, like that. Uh, you can enter uh, that different prices in uh, different price list. Then uh, system will create inclu inclusive same price and GP percentage and uh, GP amount. Uh, next activity uh, after you enter transaction it will uh, display that activity i'll show you an example Uh, that items transactions uh, next note uh, you can add nodes 
from here and also you can attach any documents from here like uh, customer supplier you can add any notes uh, you can enter action date subject note then uh, on action date it will uh, you can view in uh, dashboard then uh, user defined fields from here uh, you can enter additional details and uh, you can rename these labels from user defined fields okay. next uh, purchase graph sales graph sales versus purchase purchase graph sales graph sales uh, purchase graph will update after you enter transactions and uh, the picture you can attach picture to this item okay after you enter these details you can save this item next uh, we'll move to uh, item categories after creating item categories uh, we'll create uh, bundle item from here you can create item category go to items list item categories click on add category enter item category description and you can save okay next uh, list of item bundles now uh, if you are selling a uh, few items as a bundle or one pack you can create bundle item and uh, when you are select that bundle item uh, other components of that item will display in this uh, now uh, you can I show you an example uh, when you are entering an invoice first uh, if you are selling bundle item you need to change this type to bundle and uh, you can select bundle item here then uh, I selected only that computer. These other components uh, automatically uh, pop up to that uh, screen. Now you can see I select selected only computer, uh, but uh, that system displays CPU, speakers, mouse, keyboard, uh, like that. Other component also at once uh, you can enter to the screen. Now uh, from here we can create bundle item, go to items, list, uh, list of bundle items. Click add, add item bundle. First uh, you need to enter item bundle code. Then uh, you need to enter item description. After that, uh, you can select that items you are going to bundle. Uh, select the item and enter quantity. Okay. Uh, 
then uh, after that uh, you can save Now here uh, I select uh, one item but uh, it's not allowed to invoice because this uh, quantity fall below zero. Uh, I think you can remember when you are uh, when you're doing company settings. Item settings. Uh, I have said that do not allow item quantities below zero. Therefore uh system will not allow to uh, process this transaction i link and quotation Okay, uh, I have created one item, two items selected. The uh, first one, first item quantity one, second item quantity two. Now, uh, when I select that one item, it will display uh, according to that. Okay, after that, uh, you can process this quotation. Okay, uh, uh, in addition to that now, for an example, uh, if you are in Slate, uh, sometimes you may have several courses as one product. And uh, if you are creating that like that, uh, for an example, English course, computer course, uh, on, uh, in uh, with the financial course, uh, you can create that as a bundle item. And uh, from here you can select item as uh, computer course, uh, then English course and uh, finance course and create uh, that courses as a bundle item. Then when you are invoicing, it will display as, uh, when you are select that bundle item, all other courses will display in the invoice. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask now. Okay, uh, now you can create few items. Uh, if you are creating bundle items, uh, please create uh, at least three items. And uh, you can create items, bundle items and item categories. Uh, please take uh, 10 minutes and uh, create those items. And if you have any questions, you can ask.
okay uh, hope uh, you have created items and uh, if you have created this uh, bundle item you can go to customer codes you can check uh, that your bundle items correctly display in this uh, invoice uh, sorry quotation uh, please open an quotation and uh, change this item type to bundle and uh, select your and check whether uh, that uh, items and quantities display properly Okay, now uh, we have created customer supplier items, uh, master files. Next, uh, we will move to banking. You can create bank accounts from this banking module. Click at the bank or credit card. Okay, uh, from here, you can enter your bank account name. Then uh, you can select that bank category, whether it's current account, savings account, uh, fixed deposit or petty cash. And uh, under default payment method, you can select that payment method whether you are paying mostly from cash check credit card or EFT then uh, you can enter bank name account number branch name and uh, you can select the bank account currency if you have a foreign currency account uh, you can select that currency and uh, after you change the currency you can uh, see this symbol will change and uh, you can enter opening balance enter opening balance as a date and uh, can enter branch code okay now uh, like this uh, you can enter your bank account details and uh, when you are doing uh, in a practical situation sometimes uh, in same bank you may have uh, more than one bank account uh, for an example uh, in sampath bank you may have uh, two accounts in that case uh, from here bank account name uh, you can enter Sampath bank one and second account you can enter Sampath bank two or uh, you can enter that uh, account code as a account number as a identification then uh, when you select that bank account from that account number you can select the current bank account and also uh, from here you can select that category 
with its current account, petty cash account, or savings account, or fixed deposit. Uh, then uh, there are two options active and default active is uh, if this account is active you can tick this option and later if you are inactive this uh, account you can untick this active tick then uh, default is if you tick on this default uh, when you are when you are uh, select bank transaction this account will display as a default bank account Now I show you this uh, Sampath Bank Rupee account. Uh, I have created as a default bank account. Now if I enter any tra banking related transaction, This bank account will display as a default bank account. Now here you can see. Okay, after you enter transactions, this activity uh, you can view and uh, after you create a bank account or after you enter the transactions to that bank account you cannot change this currency okay after you process and transactions to this uh, bank account, uh, you cannot change this currency. Therefore, uh, when you are creating bank account, please carefully correct this, uh, select this currency. Uh, in addition to that, uh, now sometimes uh, uh, when you are uh, in practical situation, you may. Uh, use uh, post data checks, PD checks. In that case, uh, you can use a separate bank account for that PD checks. And uh, later, when you are doing bank transactions, we will discuss uh, what are the advantages of that maintaining PD checks, uh, PD check account. Okay. Uh, uh, like this, uh, we can create bank account. And uh, after we create this bank account, uh, we can view that uh, bank account name, bank name, account number, balance, those things. And uh, we can customize this grid from here. And uh, you can sort ascending or descending order. Okay, now uh, you can create uh, two bank accounts.
Okay, uh, next uh, you can create bank and credit card categories. Go to banking list bank and credit card categories. Uh, from here, you can add category. Uh, you can create bank and credit categories now. Okay, uh, next one, uh, quick entry rule, uh, we'll quickly go to this one. Uh, from uh, quick entry rule, uh, from here you can enter uh, pay name, then uh, other details will uh, fill by from the system. Now for an example, you will create uh, if you enter this pay name uh, we will enter slate then other now here uh, we need to enter who is the pay then uh, this other detail description uh, type account these details will fill the system okay i'll save this then i'll go to banking transaction banking transaction banking uh, then i'll enter that pay name
uh, now here I entered only slit then uh, from the system uh, it will fill this other description type or this uh, information like that uh, you can set that uh, quick entry rules now uh, for an example uh, if you are in a, uh, apartment uh, if you are if you are working for an uh, apartment uh, business uh, in that case uh, sometimes uh, your apartment owners will pay for your utility bills and management fees and those things and they will mention uh, uh, that uh, their apartment number in that case uh, now if you want to uh, automate uh, fill that other details you can create this uh, quick entry rule then uh, you can fill uh, that uh, details from the system system will memorize that details and uh, when you select that uh, apartment code uh, system will fill that uh, description and the GL accounts Uh, we will do this uh, again uh, when we are doing this uh, banking transactions. Okay, and next uh, we will move to accounts from here. We uh, take sales under income. 